Hello, hello everybody. How are we doing? I am back in my own house in North Dakota. I hope you guys had a good couple of days since I've seen you last. Hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe and healthy. I know it's a crazy time right now, so I do worry about everybody and their health these days. I feel like everyone I know is sick with something, even if it's not COVID. Hello, Tanya, Lacey, Carissa. How are you guys? How is everyone doing? I'm just gonna take a second and share the video. You guys know the deal. Hello, Sarah, Azuzina. Hello, hello. You guys, I don't think I've ever had corn chowder before, but I'm really excited after reading the ingredients of the recipe. Hello Tammy and Buffy and Patty. Hello, hello everybody. Remember just take a second to share the video onto your personal Facebook page or into some Facebook groups. Just make sure you don't violate the terms of the group. Also um, don't start a watch party because then I can't see those people. Hello Kathy, Corrine, Philip, Deb, Linda. Hello, hello Patrick and Sandy. Sandy, I got your honey in the mail. So awesome. I love that you included a little map because my husband, when I told him somebody from my show had sent me honey I guess the first thing he thought of is that it was gonna be somewhere um, somewhere else in the United States so he's really excited to find out it was North Dakota honey um, and he was really really excited for that so thank you Sandy for the honey you guys we are all doing really well in this household the boys had their first day back at school today, so um, they are kind of refreshed from that, seeing some friends and hanging out. Hello, Jessica and Robert. Hello, Sarah and Deborah. You guys, I'm just taking a second and sharing this live video into a couple of groups. If you guys want to do that too, it's always appreciated because the more people that are watching, the more giveaways we get to do at the end of the show. Remember, for the giveaways at the end of the show, you do need to be present to win. Hello, Lisa and Jason, Vivian and Ashley and Mindy you guys if you want to win um, the giveaway to be entered into the giveaway you need to hit a reaction down at the bottom of the screen a thumbs up a smiley face a happy face um, any of those down at the bottom of the screen will get you entered into the giveaway it doesn't matter if you hit it now or in the middle of the show when I ask you to you'll get entered in regardless as long as you leave a reaction down at the bottom of the screen you should be good to go thank you for sharing hello hello you guys how are you doing Angela and Brent hello Holly how are you um I am doing really really well you guys I'm glad to be back home I was sad I was hoping my first back night back home I was gonna get better sleep than I did but I think traveling for 12 hours yesterday and sleeping three and a half hours on one of my planes in the middle of the afternoon kind of messed up my sleep last night but hopefully tonight will be a little bit better hello Tisha Amber and Mindy Tammy thank you for sharing hello hello Jessica and Anita all right you guys we are gonna get started we're gonna be making quick cooker corn chowder today so if you have an instant pot, a quick cooker, a pressure cooker, anything like that. That's what we're going to be using today. Hello, Shannon and Macy. How are you? Renee, happy birthday. Everybody say happy birthday to Renee Kellums. She has tagged a bunch of her friends as well to join the party. Everybody give a big shout out to Renee for happy birthday to her. Hello, Tabitha and Jill. Thank you for sharing. All right, we are going to get started. I am going to turn on my quick cooker to the sear function. Let it get nice and warmed up first so you just rotate um, if you don't have sear if you have saute um, anything like that the main point is that we want this bottom part to start heating up so that we can cook up some of our onions and our peppers before we um, put our soup into the pressure cooker hello Pam hello hello you guys I'm so excited thank you for all the happy birthdays for Renee you guys is my favorite thing is to share birthdays with you guys Made stroganoff in the Instant Pot tonight. Yum, that sounds so good. I'm a sucker for some noodles. Hello, Abby and Tracy. Hello, Tammy and Deborah. Hey, we're not going to fight right now, okay? Why? Okay, we're going to share them if, if we keep fighting. All right, we're going to prep some of our food, so I'm just going to scoot this back. It is preheating. Um, I am going to get our onion all diced up in our um, quick or our manual food processor. You guys, that dessert on Sunday was so good. It was seriously to die for. Um, it definitely needs the fruit. Um, without the fruit, it would be a very, very rich, very dense dessert. But with that fruit in there, it was absolutely perfect. Um, I really enjoyed it and so did my friends. 
So um, that was a hit. So if you didn't see that on Sunday, definitely check it out. It was a Oreo cookie strawberry banana trifle I made. Um, no baking needed, so it's a really, really good dessert for Thanksgiving. If you are going to be short on um, um, like oven space or stovetop space, to making desserts if you don't want to make a bunch of pies or you're not good at pies or anything like that so the trifle would be a nice substitution hello Christy and Vicki and Cappy I didn't get to try the Philly cheese steaks there um, we had um, some amazing restaurants while I was there Philly cheese steaks wasn't one of them but we had some really really nice um, sit-down restaurants while we were there what do you doing? All right, so I'm going to throw my onion into the manual food processor before my eyes start watering, and we are going to dice these up nice and thin. Hello, Kimberly, how are you? And Denise, how are you doing? So I'm just gonna chop these up nice and thin. Woo, it's a strong onion. Hello, Taylor. Yes, you guys, the food in Rhode Island was amazing. I definitely, definitely recommend some of those restaurants I went to were phenomenal. Grayson, please get off the counter. We cannot have a repeat of the jalapeno in the eye, okay? Please sit on the seat. I don't want you to get spicy in your eye again, okay? Okay? Thank you. No, no spicy in your eye, baby. He got jalapeno in his eye um, last week while we were making cranberry salsa he got a little jalapeno in his eyes so maybe he will learn to sit in his seat when he is watching mama cook i've never had corn chowder either cream so i'm super super excited about it brie actually you guys keep brie in your prayers she is super 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 sick she is actually on her way to the hospital as we speak so please keep her in your prayers she has been um very very sick for about a week now um can't keep anything down um is her main um complaint so far she doesn't have any other covid symptoms no fever um no loss of taste loss of smell or anything like that she just has a really bad stomach something going on um so keep her in your prayers you guys hoping that auntie b um is doing okay hello thelma how are you linda and nicole kathy thank you for the pairs you guys I've been so worried about her, and she finally listened to me and her mom and decided to go and get some help at the hospital. All right, so we have our onions all diced up in our manual food processor. I'm just going to set those off to the side. Um, our pan in here, you guys, the quick cooker is starting to heat up. Hello, Tammy. You guys, thank you all for the prayers. She will love to see that when she has a chance to look at her phone. Wow. You know when Auntie B doesn't feel good, when she doesn't respond to um, text messages and stuff like that. She was just not feeling good. Um, Rory was on his way to bring her some medicine when she texted me and said she was just going to go to the hospital instead. So I'm glad she finally broke down and listened and is getting some help. Hopefully they can get to the bottom of it. She um, does have lupus, so it might be something from that, but I'm not sure. Um, so we'll just keep her in our prayers. Um, so we've got a one red bell pepper, one green bell pepper. Um, you guys know me. I just barely slice around the top. Don't slice all the way through. Just very so carefully pivot your knife around the top of the pepper. Careful not to cut through the middle because then you can just twist it, out come your seeds, and you don't have to do a lot of work to clean the pepper out. Hello, Heather. How are you? Um, what have I done so far? I have turned on my quick cooker. So your Instapot, Nicole, um, turned it on to saute or to your um, sear function, whichever your device has. So we have that on and preheating to be nice and warm for us to throw our onions and our peppers and our garlic into with some olive oil to cook them up. So I'm going to take this. Um, my quick cooker is right here. Thank you guys. Love, love, love it. Um, we are going to do about a tablespoon of olive oil. Olive oil, yeah. Throw that in our pan. I'm going to throw our onions in so that I can make room for our peppers in our manual food processor. Some 
dump those out. Put our peppers in. Say, Kingston, you like red peppers, right? Do you want me to leave some red peppers out for you? Yes. All right. So I'm going to just throw our bell peppers into the manual food processor and dice those up. While we're doing that, we can also press some of our garlic in to our quick cooker, pressure cooker, Instapot, any of those devices you guys want to use tonight. Um, it calls for three cloves of garlic, but I have my big garlic cloves, so I'm only doing two because they are huge and awesome. Yay, I'm glad you have gotten used to using it, Nicole. It really is life-changing. It saves so much time in the kitchen. So, so easy to use once you get the hang of it and aren't scared anymore. I remember when I was first trying it out on the show, I told you guys how scared it made me. So I'm just gonna mix this around with a spatula, get those onions all mixed in with the garlic. Hello, Jamie and Joan, how are you? Whew, don't lean over the onions. Alice, hello, hello, Macy. Um, Cal says, hi, Kingston, hi, Grayson. Can you say hi, Grayson? Hi. Say hi, Macy, hi, Cal. Yes, I am back at home, you guys. I am dicing up these peppers while my eyes are crying from the onions I just leaned over. Dice these up. Here we go. All right. So we got that. We need to add a little bit of salt. So you want one and a half teaspoons of salt. I'm just gonna do a couple grinds of my pink Himalayan salt over the top. Then we are going to do two teaspoons of the smoky barbecue rub we have here from Pampered Chef. Good evening, Barbara, how are you? The chicken and dumplings. I haven't tried that recipe yet, but that sounds delicious. So two teaspoons of the smoky barbecue rub. Hello, Brianne and Daddy O, how are you? You guys, I can never avoid onions make me tear so bad, no matter what. Awesome, you guys. I would can't wait to try the chicken and dumplings now. You guys have encouraged me to do it. So I'm gonna take this, my green and red bell peppers. Dump some of those in there. I'm going to save these three for Kingston and chop up the remaining of my bell peppers. You guys, that smoky barbecue rub smells so good. So we are just, please sit down, baby. I don't want you to fall. Yeah, baby, it is hot. Grayson's here hanging out with me today. Smells so good. I'm going to tilt you guys down so you guys can see what's going on in there. Hello, Yvonne, how are you? I just got my last order before my last two orders, Thelma. Oh no, let me follow up on some of the other ones and see why the other ones are taking longer. Our shipping is super fast these days, so um, if you guys are ordering for Christmas gifts, you guys can order anytime before December 12th and still get it in time for Christmas. So, super exciting. Chopping these up the best we can. It's hard when you don't have as many in here because then it doesn't chop as well when it doesn't have the friction of the other ingredients to chop them up. But I think we got enough in there. I used some pretty big bell peppers today. So I think we can spare some of those extra. Nice and yummy, you guys. I'm going to tilt you back up just a little bit. Hello, Gina. How are you? We are making corn chowder tonight in our quick cooker. So it's going to take out a lot of the time that we would need to spend over the stove cooking of this stew. I love this quick for the dumplings. As long as you season it up good, I love it. I'm going to wash my red potatoes now. These are going to make the recipe so good. I was a little nervous when I read the corn chowder until I saw that there was potatoes in it and then I got really, really excited. Yes, Carrie, you got your order, that's awesome. 
Yay, you have your smell and taste back now, Kareem. That's awesome. All right. Okay, thanks, babe. Can you put it on the table? So we're going to be using our simple slicer on the number two setting. And you are just going to slice up your potatoes like so. I have big red potatoes, so I probably won't need all three. But they said to slice them and then quarter the slices. So then we're going to take our slices and we're actually going to slice them again and again, making them a little bit smaller. Should be on my cutting mat, but I have slid everything over instead. Here we go. All right, you guys, this smells so good. Yeah. Already. So, so good. That smoky barbecue rub is probably going to be my favorite. Use regular biscuits and cut them and roll them and put them in flour before putting them in the pot. You are a go-getter making your own biscuits. I am not good with dough and crusts and biscuits and stuff like that. So it would probably take me a little bit of work to figure that part of the recipe out. But this quick is always my favorite. I use that for my um, chicken pot pie or turkey pot pie. I always use this quick. Um, or this most recent time I actually used cornbread mix. And that was super, super good as well. All right. Now we've got those. They've cooked for about four to five minutes. I'm gonna do just a little bit more of one of the potatoes. Um, Pampered Chef is actually um, where I got my spooky barbecue rub. Um, this is actually my um, quick cooker, pressure cooker pot, you guys. Um, this is going to save a lot of time. So once we have, I heard you, Kingston, thank you. Once we have sauteed our vegetables, like so, we are going to seal it and pressure cook it so that we don't have to babysit it on the stove. But this can be made on the stove. You will just need to um, take into consideration the amount of time for everything to get soft and nice and ready to go for a soup. So, here we go. So we've got those sauteed for four to five minutes, stirring occasionally. Now we're gonna hit cancel. Make sure you always hit cancel first, otherwise your quick cooker or your pressure cooker will keep sauteing until the timer runs out and then it will go into pressure cook, which will cause it to spend more time um, sauteing and not more time pressure cooking. So make sure you always, always hit cancel before you move on to your next step on your machine. So we're gonna add in two cups of our unsweetened almond milk, two cups, so this is a dairy-free recipe. So if you have um, anybody in your family that cannot do dairy, this is a dairy-free recipe, but it, they said it is still very, very creamy with the combination of almond milk and the smoky barbecue rub. So we're adding in two cups of our almond milk, almond. our corn. So we want three cups of fresh or frozen corn. So I'm just gonna use um, my frozen corn bag here. Stir that around a little bit. Throw our corn, so it can be fresh or frozen corn. That is up to you guys. Yes, you guys, that made super, super easy for these potatoes. Make sure you get your reactions out there for the giveaway, you guys. Make sure you leave a reaction down at the bottom of the screen. I'm going to hit refresh in two minutes to get entered into the giveaway. All right, so we've got all that in there. We've got our almond milk, our corn. Now we are going to drop our potatoes in, which is going to be my favorite part of this whole thing. Get some taters in here. Some taters, Grayson. Oh no, not spicy. Not spicy, taters. No, no, taters not spicy. Mm -mm. Eat spicy. Uh, no, those aren't spicy. You want to try one? Not spicy. Uh, not spicy. 
China bell pepper. He thought it might be spicy. All right, so I got my potatoes in there now. Mixing them up with my corn and my peppers. You guys, this is a beautiful dish so far. I love all the colors and the smell is amazing. Not spicy, yep. Potatoes, so we got milk, corn, potatoes. Then we are going to lock the lid and we are gonna set it to soup or stock. Here we go, soup or stock. And we wanna set it for super stock. Adjust the time to eight minutes. Make sure if you're using your quick cooker, you hit time and then your plus or minus arrow. So eight minutes, hit start. Make sure that your vent is closed and ready to seal. Um, if you have a quick cooker, just make sure this button is flush with the rest of the machine. Um, your red um, pin will come up as it starts to heat up. And we are gonna let that sit for eight minutes and do our giveaway. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna refresh the page and pull the names off for our giveaway. There are more steps to this recipe, so we're not done yet. Make sure you stay tuned in, you guys. There are a couple more steps. We have some um, more almond milk to add. We have some cornstarch to add to help thicken up the soup. I always thought bell peppers would be spicy too. It's hard when you hear pepper, you think spicy, but Grayson keeps going back for more now that he's had one of the bell peppers. Mm. He is so big. He talks all the time, you guys. It is awesome. All right, so I am gonna pull the names off. So this is going to come to pressure. Remember, it may um, not say the time on the screen. It will sit and rotate as it comes to pressure. Don't worry about it. It is doing what it needs to do. Once it comes up to pressure, it will beep at you again. The timer will start and it will start to tick down for you. Um, once it beeps that the eight minutes is done, we will need to hit cancel. You always want to hit cancel just in case your pressure cooker goes into um, what ours does and it's a keep warm setting. It will not um, release pressure if it's on the keep warm setting. So make sure you always, always, always hit cancel, okay? Thank you, Pam. Yes, I will. Um, I used to be really, really scared of the pressure cookers. Now I love it. I don't make mashed potatoes any other way. Um, I can make mashed potatoes in five minutes pressure cook time. It takes a couple of minutes to come up to pressure, but all in all, it's so much easier than on the stove. So fast and it makes the most smooth um, mashed potatoes ever, which is my husband's favorite. Hello, Sierra. How are you? Hello, Kimberly. Kimberly. Yes, Yvonne, that would be awesome. Okay, so once it is done, when the timer is up, we'll release the pressure. We'll put in the remaining one and three-fourths cups of almond milk, saving a little bit of milk to help mix our cornstarch together. So just make sure you have enough almond milk left in your measuring cup to add in your cornstarch to mix it up before adding it into the pot. Um, it's something you always wanna do with cornstarch, you guys. You always want to mix it into a liquid base first before adding it into whatever dish you are trying to thicken. Um, it helps it from um, clumping and helps distribute it through your dish more evenly than just dumping the powder straight in into whatever you are cooking. So always keep that in mind. Um, you can mix it with milk, you can mix it with water, you can mix it with almond milk. Um, any kind of liquid like that will give you the right effect. All right, I am just going to pull out the names of the winners that have already won this week and then we will get started. Lots of names today, you guys, 96 names. It's awesome, I love to see that so much. So fun, you guys. This is the biggest crowd we've had in a little while, so welcome if you are new here. I am Riley, Mom Feeling Hungry Boys. I do giveaways at the end of every show. Um, I'm on Tuesday, Thursdays, and on the weekends, usually a Sunday. Tuesdays are side dish or appetizer. Thursdays is main dish, and Sundays are either breakfast or dessert. So um, I also have been, um, I hired somebody to keep my website up to date. So if you ever know that I made a recipe and you don't want to search Facebook for it, I completely understand. All you have to do is go to mfhungryboys.com. Okay, Kingston, go to mfhungryboys.com. There's a search bar there now and you can search for recipes. 
Nope, I haven't picked anyone to do it yet. So we will pick a name to pick numbers since it's Renee's birthday. Renee Callums, will you pick our two numbers today? Kingston, I'll be right with you, sweetie. Thank you. All right, Renee is going to pick our two numbers today. I'm going to help Kingston, and I'll be right back. needed my help for a second. Seven and 11. All right, seven and 11 are gonna be our winners today. Seven and 11, remember you have to be present to win. And if you do not reply in two minutes, I pull another name. Um, and when I pull your name, if it, I remove the name once it's been pulled so that it cannot be pulled again. Um, and also, if you see your name, it does need to be pulled on the number we choose. So if you see your name, it doesn't necessarily mean you won. So make sure you pay attention. We're looking for number seven and number 11. So number one, number two, number three, Number four, number five, number six, and our first winner, number seven, Courtney Bailey Nelson. I did go on your site and the recipe for the trifle was there. Yes, thank you to my new amazing marketing updating person. She is awesome, she is on it. You guys, like seconds after I post the video, she has already pulled it off, put it on YouTube, put it on my website, awesome, awesome, awesome. So I really, really thank her. She is huge, huge, huge in uh, keeping that updated for me. So Courtney Nelson, you do need to comment that you are here to win the giveaway. Now we're moving on to the next winner is number 11. So here's eight, nine, 10, and 11, our second winner, Heather Irish. Heather Irish, please comment that you are here. Um, you guys, remember, if you see them comment, make sure you like the comment so that it doesn't filter it for me. They have two minutes to comment that you, they are here, or we will pull two more names. Heather Irish and Courtney Nelson. I think I remembered that, that name correctly. Got to make sure that you guys are present to win. What are you doing, Greg, right? Please. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations to the winners if you guys are here. If not, we will pull other winners. Remember, you guys, there are a couple more steps to this recipe, so don't tune out just because the giveaway is done. Sounds like my husband is home from bringing medicine Dada. to free. Yeah, daddy. Heather Irish is here. So one of our giveaway winners has claimed their prize. Heather, make sure you send me a message with your name, your shipping information, your email, and your phone number, and I will get something sent off to you. Oh no, Gabby, so close. Yes, Heather, so exciting. So we are going to pull another name in a minute if Courtney um, that does not respond. Heather Irish was the second winner and she has claimed her prize, but the first winner still has not responded, so we may be pulling another name, so stay tuned, you guys. Um, I am a Pamper Chef consultant, so I always give away Pamper Chef items. And don't forget, you guys, I do have that party open from now until the end of December that if you place an order on the link, Pampered Chef forward slash party forward slash North poll, you have to order from that link to get $15 off of your order. If you have been a previous host with me, you can combine that with your $15 credit that we have sent you in your email. 
If you didn't get the email, that's okay. Just signing into your account like you do as a host, you will have that $15 credit there as you check out. So you can combine those two together and get $30 off of your order. It's my gift for the Cyber Monday Black Friday deal so far, but I've got a couple more deals coming up, so keep your eyes peeled for that. We're gonna pull one more name here, you guys. Our new winner is... Da -da -da -da. I can pull the name. The egg doesn't want to hatch. There it goes. Bill Winfield. Bill Winfield. I just saw you comment. Have a good evening. Hopefully you didn't sign off. Bill, are you still watching? I saw you just commented. Have a good evening. I know there's a little bit of a delay, so hopefully he is still here and ready to win. Bill, make sure you comment. Say, I'm here. I'm here. Hopefully he did not sign off. Hopefully he saw that he's a winner now. You do have to be present to win. You do have to be here and claim it. Hopefully Bill is still watching. Hopefully all those likes on his post will get him to come back and check it out and see why everybody, yes, he's still here. Bill, I do have your information still, but please send it to me again as a reminder to get your gift. First name, last name, email, phone number, and address, and I will get something sent off to you. Thank you for hanging out with me. Um, our recipe is not complete yet, but my quick cooker hasn't even started the eight minute timer. So like I said, you guys, once this is done, you're gonna release the pressure. The only steps that you have left to do is you have two more cups of unsweetened almond milk out of your four cups for this recipe. You're gonna pour the majority back into the quick cooker. You're gonna turn the quick cooker on to saute or your sear function again. Bring it to a boil. Then you're gonna add in your tablespoon of cornstarch. You're gonna whisk it into the remaining um, one fourth of a cup of almond milk. Make sure it's nice and incorporated before you pour it into your soup. Stir it around until it's nice and thickened and then you're ready to eat. This recipe is dairy free as it is right now. Knowing my family, we will probably put cheese on top of it. So if that's what you wanna do, I think that would be a good addition. You can also use sour cream or something like that. Um, they said with the smoky barbecue rub in it, makes it very, very, very creamy and rich in itself with the almond milk. So you may not have to do that. So if you are somebody that tries to stay away from milk, this is the recipe for you. I will be back again on Thursday. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and I can't wait to share the end result with you. Congratulations to the winners and have an awesome night.